Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to make a great looking timeline to add to your PowerPoint presentation. We are going to do this using a tool called Office Timeline, which is an add-in for Microsoft's PowerPoint. So let's get started. So we need to head to OfficeTimeline.com in order to download the add-in. Click on the Start Making Timelines button to get started. From here just click on the Download Free Edition in order to get rolling, and then you'll need to install the add-in. Install this like any other product, clicking on Run once it's downloaded and then following through the prompts that present in order to install the add-in. Once it's complete, PowerPoint will open, and you can get started using the Timeline feature. In order to do this, just click on the Office Timeline item on the ribbon in order to open the Timeline commands. With the free version we have a slightly limited set of features compared to the paid version, but you can still create a great timeline with the tools included in the free version. So we are going to click here in order to start a new timeline, and then the editor tool will launch. You'll see that there are some templates included in the paid version, but we're going to select one of the free options here for now. Next it's time to add our milestones to the timeline. We can enter items here, and just click on the plus icon in order to add more here. Next, you can add some tasks to your timeline. The interface is very similar, and you can specify dates for the tasks after you name them over here. Once you're done, you can finish up and your timeline will be added to your PowerPoint presentation. It is important to note that you can also edit and manipulate these elements once they're on the slide, no differently than anything else you add to a PowerPoint slide like this, until you end up with a visual presentation that you're happy with. This is a very useful tool that can be used in a huge variety of ways. Your imagination's the only real limiter here, and if you need more flexibility, there's always the option of the upgrade to the paid version. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day!